Hello everybody and welcome back to another Zoo Tycoon Let's Play episode with me, Kelogsky. And in this episode we are carrying on with the training mode and I'm pretty sure there's not much left. So we didn't get through many in the last episode so we're going to quickly rush through these real quick. So we're in the Caribbean and does it only go up to 10? It does so we've only got three left so we'll finish this this episode so it, i don't care whether it takes hours months but we will get this done in this episode so this is the last episode of training mode so i hope you all enjoy this let's sit back and enjoy the show whilst the loading starts beautiful waiting again come on time wasting here <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're going to do the challenge mode next, which is going to be pretty hard, isn't it? Which I'm not looking forward to, because I'm going to struggle, but oh well. So yeah, welcome back, hello again. Uh, okay, we'll go on this. Oh, it's changed here, isn't it? Wow, Caribbean is loads different. It's very blue and beautiful. In the edit exhibit menu, select animal and then choose view animals. Okay, so view animals, animals, view animals, okay, LT or by you, oh, you're, you're hungry, um, you're hungry, okay, so you're all hungry, okay, when your animals reach certain levels, they gain new abilities, level 6 animals can breed, and le at level 15, they can be released, so, this is what I wanted to know, what the levels mean, so the higher the level is better really, yeah, no, I don't know, okay, only happy animals will level up, so be sure you are meeting your animals needs, you can rename your animals at any time, Oh, select one of your elephants. I will select, oh no, that's a nice name, Edmund. Oh, Edmund was the baby, weren't he? Like in the last one. Oh, uh, that's a girl, by the way. Oh, sorry. Alma. Let's pick Alma. That's a bit of a, right, so I'm going to rename. Okay, so a name, a name, a name. Um, um, oh, elephant. Uh... I'm going to name this one out of Wild at Heart. Now, if you don't know what that is, type in Wild at Heart. Um, Danny Trevanion did it. And they called one of the elephants Tula. Now, I don't know how that's spelling, but I'm spelling it like that. So, I don't care. Uh, head, oh, we've got bears. Oh, that's scary. Right, you over here. It's just better than driving. I like driving, but it takes up so much time in the episode just driving around. So, it's just quicker doing it like this. So... Develop a breeding program. First, you must have a breeding centre in your zoo. Build a breeding centre facility in your zoo. Okay, so it looks like this is all about the breeding. All about the breed. All about the birds and bees. So, facility. Uh, oh, breeding centre. Every time I say that, it just clicks off. It's just like, oh, I'll go there, even though I'm on it. Yes. So, edit facility. Um... Upgrade. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get the message. I'm not reading all that. It would take me so long. Okay. It looks like the elephants have outgrown their exhibit. There is a large tropical exhibit across the path. You should move an elephant there. Head to the elephant exhibit right now. Oh, what? I do I have to? I suppose I've got to. To move an animal, select it to bring up its menu. And then select the move option. Open the menu for one of the elephants. Oh, but I don't want it to go on its own. Alright, so what's the options? Let's quickly... Oh, is that too bright? Is that, like, really... I think that's about right. Um, I don't know why I'm going through this. Um, effect volume. Ok, 
okay, yeah, you just go along with whatever. Okay, that just changes. Um, I'll, I'll do this out of episode, okay, Klogski. Come on, don't mess around doing that. Okay, we've leveled up. Right, let's, let, right, focus, Klogski. Think about the game and the people watching at home. Right, to, oh, right, we've already read that. So it says, go on an animal and then bring it up. Go on animals, view animals, move animals. So I will move, oh, I don't want to move like one. Let's move two to see that we've been working with her through the start. Oh, come on then, Tula. Uh, then press A to select what? Move your cursor over the new exhibit. I don't even know where the new exhibit is. Is it this one? Are you sure you want to move the animal here? Is this it? Is this the one I need? Can we move all? The infants will have much more room in the new exhibit. Select a level 15 elephant. Okay, so that's Tula again. Come on. We haven't got all day. Come on. Oh, I don't want to, like, let her be on her own. She's going to be so lonely. Oh, well, I suppose... Uh, I don't want her to... Like, it's so weird because Tula in Wild at Heart is a baby elephant, yet she's on her own as well. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, though. Uh, because later on, um, Danny Trevanion slash um oh, what's his name i don't know i can't remember uh summit stevenson um yeah so basically yeah um duplicy and danny trevanian rehabilitator back with uh well she gets adopted with a new parents and she lives happily ever after but yeah she was on her own to start with because her mom got shot um so yeah, select a level 15 elephant. So here's a level 15 elephant. Okay, I've I've selected. I've selected. Release to wild. No. Okay, I suppose that's good, but I uh, you know, I'm really uh, so emotional. I can't do this anymore. Go to the main gate menu and view the animal's release map. Oh, do, do I get to pick where they get released? Right, head over. Animal release map. I've never ever done this. Okay. Uh, okay, I've completed the tutorial. God knows how I did that. Okay, so that's the first one done. So we did actually uh, take longer in the last episode because uh, we only did two. But I suppose that's good, because at least then the last one's got three in. So, yeah, and I was a numpty, weren't I, in the last one? Like, now we're going to South America. I've got to keep reading these, because I like to tell you guys what's going to happen in this one. So, zoo customization and photo photography. In this tutori tutorial, in this tutorial, you will learn how to customise your zoo, how to take photographs, and how to manage your photo albums. So, we're basically a photographer. Okay. So, we're not a zookeeper anymore. We're a photographer. And my back's hurting. Oh. Right. Because so, I've been recording for so long now. Ugh. Because all the episodes you've seen what's been uploaded is all being done on one day. So, when the first one was done, that's the day I did all of the recording. So, now I'm starting to feel a bit worn out. But I've got a, This game pushes me on. So, let's do this. So, yeah, so, where are we at? We're in North or South America? I've already forgot. So, right, um, so I'm guessing she's going to say hello. Oh, yeah, welcome back to this tour. Oh, yeah, we already know. First, let's look at customising on a zoo-wide scale. Select the main gate menu. Are you actually joking? No, I'm not joking. Right, so let's go over here. How's to run? I want to run. <sighs> Right, global customization. Right, from here you can change the look of your paths and the trees, trash cans and benches that appear in your zoo. Try changing one of these now. 
So let's change the trees. Now what matches? Let's go for, I like, I do like city trees. But because this is like America, I think Alpine is going to be pretty cool for this. So you can customise your attractions individually by selecting the customise options in the attraction menu. Select the coffee uh, shop attraction menu and choose the customise option. Customise. Customise slot. From here you can change the paths, trash cans, benches. Oh, so I can change these as well. Right. So, uh, what does this do? Just like the exhibit items, you can only place objects in certain places on an attraction. Use LB or RB to cycle between slots and then press A to build the object. So let's build here first, seeming that we're already here. So, oh, what table? Um, select a bench. Uh, well, we'll go for all out Alp Alpine. So great, customize costs money, but it worth it to have an appealing and unique zoo. Return to zoo view and let's see how your attraction looks. Beautiful. So I'm going to go all out all alpine. 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 I don't know why I love that word. Great. Customize. Uh, okay. I've already read that. Uh, do I have to zoom in? Yeah. You can rename your attractions to anything you like. Select an attraction and choose the rename from the attraction. I don't really. I'm never going to do this. Because I don't know what to name it like it's a coffee shop i could call it a cafe but no uh, that count isn't it renaming yeah just go in and then go back out that's an interesting name and it will make the attraction easier to find in your zoos return to your zoo view okay now that you've customized the exhibit it let's talk take a picture press lb to take out your camera Okay, I'm guessing I've got to go and see you. Right, so, um, what is it? LB. Oh, oh, the camera's weird. To go down is up, and to go up is down. The camera is out, so it needs to be changed. Okay, zoom in on objects you want to uh, photograph. Okay, let's take a picture of his head. No, that's great. The camera viewfinder will turn green when you have a species target in view. To take a photo, press A. I don't want to take a photo here. Right, let me move a bit. Let's move. Let's move over a little bit. Because I want to take a picture of an animal, not of nothing. So what are all these exhibits? You're very nice. Oh no, that's just the outside. Let's take a picture of a lion. That could be pretty cool. So, um, let's go. Right, the camera really needs to be changed. You're in a dark place. Let's go for the male. He's he's uh doing something. Where where is he on? It's got to be a good picture. Oh, that's perfect. You stay there, my beast. You stay. Th oh no, no, he's on the side. Oh, and now he's got his bum in my face. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Boom. Oh, that no, that that's not very good. Okay, I don't want to keep that photo. Um. Oh, it looks like you deleted that one. Never mind. Oh, once you're finished taking photos, press B to go back to the. Uh, okay, quickly, quick. Oh yes, that's the lion. Keep the photo. Boom. Right there we go. You can find it in your animals photos album. Okay. Photos you keep are added to your photo album. Press the start button to open the game menu. And, uh, the what? Oh! And then select photo album. Your photo albums are where all of your photos are kept. Feel free to explore your album. Once you're finished, press B to go back to the zoo view animals we've got one of the leons asiatic lion beautiful right so yeah that that is done
pretty much. Okay, that com that tutorial is finished. We are on our last tutorial, guys. So I cannot wait for this one. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, North Africa. Boom, best place. South Africa is the best. But oh well, still, yeah. When I build my zoo, it is going to be in South Africa. And then I may actually just do it with African animals. Um, that will probably be my second. I'll probably do two, and then that will do. And I think it's actually crashed. I think the game's crashed. Um, I do hope that it's saved, otherwise I will be very annoyed. Uh, it has been running for a long time. Yeah. This has been running for quite a while now, so no wonder it's actually died on me. So, I'll be back in just one second once this is sorted. So, I'll be back in just one. Okay, so we're back in, and I did have to turn off my Xbox, but then I log logged back in, and it said game saved, or it said warning, and I thought, oh no, I hope the game's not, not dead, and I've had to, like, redo all of it, and uh, it did say uh, game saved automatically. But... Why did it have to add the warning sign? Oh, I saw it was warning, and I thought, oh, no. And then it said, game saved automatically. So I thought, oh, that's good. So, yeah, here we go. You have no active goals or challenges. So what have I got to do? Am I in the right one here? Okay, I'm a bit... Okay, challenges. Right. No. Okay. So, do I just have to build whatever? I guess I just have to go to the end. I hope I haven't gone in the wrong one. Alright, so what's wrong with you guys? Let's pick up your poop. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Now, you... All need something to eat, so view animals. You're ill, you're sick, so there's something wrong with you. So if I, uh, da, 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 what does trade mean? As of, to adopt this animal and we'll give you one uh, for them. Do you want to go ahead with this? Not really. Right, I think I'm in the wrong thing here. So let me just quickly go on. Uh, main menu again, and no, I don't really wanna. I don't really wanna. Oh, I know why. I'm in the wrong one. So let me just quickly, uh, like, cause this is my old one. So um, yeah, I have this one as my usual one. So. Yeah, I didn't know that it was in the wrong one. But we're back, we're back, okay? So I'm hoping, oh no. Uh, is it saved? I wondered why it was like that. Oh no. Oh, I was so nervous then. Right, so, yeah. I wondered what was wrong. I thought, why is that sick and what what's happening? So... In this tutorial, you will learn about the different um, staff types and how to hire, train, and fire them. I don't really want to fire them, though. You know? I suppose, the, do the zookeepers actually feed the animals for me? Because that will make my life so much easier, and I'll get them straight away. Like, I like, like, cooperate, uh, not cooperating. Oh, it's a word, in it? Um... Oh, what's the word? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me have a look when I'm in the game. Because there's a word in the game about it. But yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, wait there. Let me let me just quickly go over to here. Uh, right. Let, can I just... No, I don't want to feed. Don't want to feed. Don't want to feed. I want to go over to the build uh, edit exhibit. Now, what's it called? Animals. No, uh, what do you call it? Interactions, that's it. I remembered now. No. Right, select facility and build a zookeeper centre. Okay, so, uh, build a zoo. Facility. 
the zookeeper sent her. Oh, it doesn't work that far. Oh well. Uh, I think this is a good place. Yeah, just there. Right, cool. Now select the zookeeper centre and select the staff options. So, do I have to go on that? And staff. Now, from here you can hire zookeepers. Right now you only have three spots for zookeepers. But upgrade in the centre will let you have more. Now, now select hire. So we have loads of money, so I'm pretty sure we can... Right, so each staff member has its initial hiring fee and a salary. The higher their star rating, the better they are at doing their job. And the more expensive they'll be. Hire any zookeeper. So, you're all free. Oh, apart from... Okay. Uh, 300, and that's 36. 336. 300. Right, so, I think... Because of your name, Iskander, uh, that's going to be a bit of a no-no, because people aren't really going to want to hear your name. Sorry, I shouldn't mention on your names, but I just don't think... You, G Gabrielle, are you, uh, are you good? Uh, um, like, yeah, we'll give Gabrielle one, because she's got a cool name. So, she's fully trained, so she's pretty good. Edit facility. Oh, I can't upgrade. Okay, so I can't do any more to that one either. So, anyway. Yeah, so it looks like we can actually um, upgrade the people. So, train them up to be three stars. So, maybe when you start out, it would be best to get one star. But, yeah. So, hire janitors. You need a janitor office. Open the build, mate. Oh, here we go again. Quickly run over there, man. Facility. Office. You, I'm going to put you over here. I think it's a good place. Good place. Uh, oh, yeah. Now select the janitor's office and choose the staff options. Staff. What are these going to do? Now, Mal, you're not in there. Uh, oh. Right, so... I'm going to go for Brandon, because Mal isn't as good. Like, Mal, his name. So, I'm sorry. I've got to really be nicer to him, but... I can't, can I? What have I got to... Uh, I didn't say that, did I? And you just crashed straight into the building. Goodness me. Open the build menu. Select a facility and then build a breeding centre in your zoo. Facility. No, it's not going to work this time. Okay, breeding centre. It's not going to work either. Oh well. Right, so I'll put you... What? Get off. Goodness me, what is happening? Tell you, I'm going to get rid of this uh, connect sensor because it's annoying me so much. Now select the breeding centre and choose the staff options. Edit facility, staff. So I've got to keep a member in all three of these. So you, you, you. Oh, so... See, you've been back for two. Why is the car keep coming? When do I say buggy or get buggy or whatever? Goodness me. Right, so you've been in two now. I suppose you keep coming back. Um, are you cheaper? Well, okay, I'll give you a chance then. Assign to exhibit. Uh, which one would you like to work out? I suppose the savannah. Okay. 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 Okay, A. Right. Um, we're done. We're actually finished all of them. Wow. Uh, to be honest, four episodes. I think it's four we've done of the training. We have completed tutorial one, tutorial two, tutorial three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Wow, wow, wow. So, in the next episode, guys, you know what that means. That means challenge mode. Or do I do campaign? Which one's easier? So, challenge mode is basically, you start with your invited funds, but you can build your zoo your way and overcome the various challenges of zoo management. This is where you prove your zoo keeping skills. Go wild. Okay. Well, I am a dog. Maybe I could be a wolf. Campaign mode is where real zookeepers prove themselves. Play through 15 scenario based zoos in 16 categories to become the ultimate zoo tycoon. Completing each scenario will reward you with a unique item to use in your challenges and free form mode. So, oh, I'm going for this one then. So this could be like unlocking different animals and everything. So I'm going to do campaign mode next. So I hope you all enjoyed the show. And I'll be back for another. Um, actually no it's not another is it. It's a brand new campaign Zoo Tycoon Let's Play episode. So I hope you guys stick around for that. Thank you for watching. And goodbye for now. Thank you.